Dear Aunt Lucy, I have arrived in London, and so far it has rained, poured, drizzled, and chucked it down. And I miss you. London is not how we imagined it. Hardly anyone says hello or wears hats, and you can no longer simply turn up at the station and get a home. It's hard to see where a bear could ever belong in such a strange, cold city. Luckily, I met the Browns, who are letting me sleep in their attic. They have a lovely house, but I'm not going to be allowed to stay. That animal is going straight to the authorities. But what about the explorer? There is no explorer. I'm not putting this family in danger while you go on some wild goose chase. First thing tomorrow, that bear is out of here. The Browns are a very curious tribe. Mr. Brown is something called a risk analyst. He says that having a bear in the house increases the chances of major disaster by 4,000%. Mrs. Brown illustrates adventure stories. Her latest is set in the old tunnels and sewers under London. She says she's stuck at the moment because she can't imagine what her hero looks like, but has no trouble coming up with nicknames for her daughter Judy, like Twinkle and Coconut and... Sweetie Pops! Hello, darling. Um, I was thinking of going to the sewers tomorrow night. I just wondered if you wanted to join me. You could bring this Tony. Yeah, why would I want to bring anyone down the toilet? Come on, darling. It's not like that. It's a subterranean labyrinth that can take you anywhere in the city. It's weird, it smells, and it's embarrassing. Sure. Good point. Judy suffers from a serious condition called embarrassment. She is seeing a boy called Tony, but won't bring him home. So, when can I come round your house? That's never gonna happen. She is learning Chinese. Could you tell me the way to the central business district? So she can run away and start a small business. I have been accused of insider trading and require legal representation. When Jonathan grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. Last year, he built a pair of rocket boots. Three, two, one. And is now only allowed to play with safe, educational indoor toys from the olden days. They live with an old relative called Mrs. Bird. Her husband was in the Navy, and she still likes everything ship-shape. Tomorrow, they are taking me to the authorities, who will house me in something that is not an orphanage, but still doesn't sound like the sort of home we were really hoping for. <laughs>